Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have you a fun, sweaty, no repeat cardio workout. So let's get our bodies warmed up before we get into the actual workout today. So we'll just go forward and back with our marches and let's move those arms gently by our sides. So we've 24 exercises today. We're not repeating anything. And uh, I always feel like time goes so fast with the no repeats because the mind is kept very busy as you move from one move into the next. Now we do have obviously left and rights with a couple of the moves, but other than that, there's no repeats because as always, you have to balance out the body. You've got to work one side, you've got to work the other. Let's hold it here. Rotate those arms for me. See if you can make the move a little bigger now and really feel those little muscles in around the chest the shoulder area and the upper back starting to wake up that's it good get your breathing going now right from the start this is why i like to do a good warm-up because it teaches you how to get your breath down early in the workout good and uh, obviously the muscles get heat into them the nervous system um, knows that there's a little bit of work coming up okay now let's crisscross in front nice stretch for the chest and the upper trunk area pull back and when you pull back just engage or contract those muscles between your shoulder blades your trapezius and your rhomboids your posture muscles great up over the head if you can if not stay down low even in front of your tummy is fine okay that's it you can move off the spot use up your space around you good and I hope you're feeling great today I'm ready to get the body moving that's it let's energize ourselves wake our bodies up I know not everybody does morning workouts but if it is a morning workout it's nice to just get that spine stretched out and even if it isn't it's an evening workout and you've been in an office job or driving a lot it's still good to get the some my cardiovascular exercise for your spine particularly your discs because it's good it's good to get that oxygen flowing to the discs it really does keep them healthy right let's push back triceps a step back as well switch up the legs that's it keep the heel up just leaning slightly at the waist there good push back push breathe for me now good get that air in and out well done four with the arms three keep the legs going to one just resting out the arms and four three two now open the legs wide and just do a little seat and stretch across stretch across good sit down and reach across now it's kind of like a dynamic or a ballistic move here okay if you can't go into the squats keep the move light and small like this one you want to get down a little deeper and get into those legs a little bit more and those glutes you can go for that reach across good reach and reach out in front if you can't go above your head reach across great this is warming up the ankles as well and four three keep the legs open wide for me get your balance you may need to hold on to something and we'll just do closed legs closed leg pendulums that's it good and bring in the arms keeping the heart rate elevated a little bit keep that blood circulating around to all the working muscles and squeeze good making sure you're working those hip muscles there or your glute minimus and medius like i always say we don't actually have any hip muscles it's just the glute muscle extends around to the outside of the leg the upper portion of the leg that's it good you're feeling those shoulders good and one and two now let's take it in some calf raises so up and down up and down so just getting that lower part of the leg warmed up as well I want you to continue on with calf raises I'll show you the first exercise okay so we're gonna X big X with the body for two two knee raise 
We're starting off with a hybrid move. It's a morning workout. We'll be getting the brain exercised as well. Okay, so two X, two knee raise, and I'll talk you through the rest that's coming up today. I'll just get a few calf raises in. And also we're doing 10, 50 sequence. So if you want to increase the rest time up to 20 seconds, that means you'll decrease your work time down to 40 seconds, okay? Or you can leave out the rest altogether and do a full minute, however you're feeling. Okay, enjoy this workout. It's very enjoyable putting it together. Some good moves to keep the heart rate up and get you nice and fit. Okay. Now, right. Let's keep going with those calf raises and we'll go on the beeper. And if you want that full minute, you go ahead. Two X, X of the legs. All right, let's go. X, X, two knee, two knee. And anytime you see me here doing body weight, if you want to pick up weights, go on, you can do that. It's your workout. So you get your weights out and do even a few of the moves. You don't have to do them all with weights. That's it, reach out, knee. Knee, now work your abdominals with that knee raise. Crunch, crunch, that's it, one, two. It's a great way to work your tummy without having to go down to a mat on the floor. Standing up, just crunching out those abs, drawing that knee up and doing a slight little C curve with your torso. Good. Now we're going to step back and do some shoulder press next. This is the, the next one's great one with weights. Good. Step back, shoulder press, okay? I'm just going to stay with it. Take the rest if you need it. Take even more rest if you want and reduce your work time. This is a shoulder burn. Okay, push out, particularly after exercise one. Now keep the heel up. You can speed up or slow down. That's it, you work at your own pace there. Relax that neck. Punch out, punch out. Now if you're getting tired, you can turn it into a back row and get those posture muscles worked. Let me just get the coordination. Okay, so it's up to you. We can mix between the two. Now the next thing we're gonna do are some pulse lunges. They're very, very uh, light lunges, mini lunges. So don't worry if you can't bend your knees too deeply. You can go to a wall and support yourself if you need to with the next one. Or if you have your kitchen chair around, you can put your hand on a chair. Okay, so we're gonna go, whoops, we're alternating here. That'll uh, challenge the balance. Three, switching around to the other side. Okay, let's go one two three good one two three just little pulse lunges rest out the arms are very fatigued after the last two and one two three good one two three now make the, the pulse small okay so just a little bend of the leg that's it good one two three two three Keep going, switching around. That's really going to challenge that balance and that coordination. Good. With some fast feet for 10, and then we're gonna kick the leg out for two. Okay, kick the leg forward or out in front of you. Two and three. So you know your fast feet, or you can just step it for 10, and then we're gonna kick and kick. This is a great fun one, this next one, great cardio. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick, kick, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick it out, kick it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up tall and kick. Keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick and kick. You're working those hamstrings there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick, kick, great. Keep that chest upright for me. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick, kick. Don't bend the, around the back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick, kick. We've got some dive unders for one coming next. And then we're going to do a little squat and reach up. Kick and kick. So I'll quickly show you. Dive under, little seat, reach up. Dive under, little seat and reach up. And you can go as deep with the dive unders as you like, or leave it even as a step over. And then just a little bounce of the hips and reach up if you want to really modify it, okay? 
reach up if you want to get down deep and sit into a deeper squat that's fine too over we go sit and reach good and you might find as you go through the 50 seconds that your body responds a little bit more and you can get a little deeper that's it over we go great we have some step touch coming next with some arm circles reach up over feeling the glutes working good reach and reach up now you know step touch you can join me here if you want to use this as a transition move as well between moves and then we're going to circle the arms okay all right circle circle good now it does require a little bit of a uh, thinking here if you're getting confused leave out the arms and step touch it okay good now i'm going to bring in my arms here and circle i'm going to go the other direction now good and circle and circle that's it keep going keep going come on you can do it now we have a one side knee raise coming next think one side unilateral i'm going to add in some arm swings good just there well done now to quickly show you you can march out or join in with me one side knee raise and we're going to swing the arms okay i'll stay with it now good knee knee you can bring the arm up a little higher shoulder height if you want to work a little bit more against gravity that means the muscles will work harder good now i want you to work your abs here this is a wonderful opportunity to do some abdominal work good engage your core good come on big deep breaths that's it come on you can do it this again this will challenge your balance that standing leg is going to ache a little bit good keep going with it we're nearly there we have to change over to the other leg now for the next exercise okay gotta work both sides and there you go okay well done Whew, that was tough how did you get on with that one all right did you work your tummy muscles okay pull your belly button to your spine and knee and knee good knee up stretch out your glutes that's it it's all good while we work the abs hip flexors upper half we're stretching out the glutes good find that balance for me tap out your toe on the floor don't try to force your heel down that's it good work come on keep your belly button pulled into your spine good straddle step is next i haven't done straddle step in, in a long time it's usually one i include in a walking workout hey but it's made its way here today come on bring up the tempo if you can so with straddle step i always like to start i always like to imagine i'm actually on a step and you start with two feet on top of the step and you just straddle then so two feet on top two feet to uh, both sides of the step top side okay all right let's go down and up and you can bend your knees deeply if you want to get a little bit more work for the the thighs and the the back side or you can stay up tall with it but i think if you really were on a step you would have to bend your knees so we'll make it realistic and down and up that's it good now keep your chest up when you start bending your knees usually people start rounding the back don't look down bend your knees and keep your back or your spine tall okay now we have our pendulums coming next and we're going to x the arms behind us that that's actually a tough one if you're tight in around the shoulders but it's great if you are you should be doing it every day okay so pendulum as you know good and then xing the arms behind you and you can see actually the stretch there for the chest if you want to start with the legs first get down get it into your head there first of all and then get the arms moving behind you 
Good. Raise those elbows up nice and high. Well done. Good. You can actually feel a wonderful stretch there for the, the front of the, the body there, your pectorals, front of the shoulder as well. You can feel some work going on in your posture muscles behind. As you know, as one muscle is stretching or relaxing, the other is working or contracting. Good. Come on, keep going. Oh, it's, it's actually a real arm burn as well. If you're doing a weights, you can let me know how you got on with weights. Okay, we're just there. Oh, that is some burn for the arms. Now we have a narrow squat. I'll do it from the side. Narrow, step back and front raise. Sorry, do that again. Front raise. So let's go. Narrow, arms and legs work together here. So sit down, step back and reach up. Good. Let's get that coordination. Down, step and reach. Sit down, step and reach. Good. Keep your breathing going now. Don't forget to breathe. Don't be holding on to your air. Take air in. Breathe out through pursed lips. Good. Step back. Step back. Good. Now keep your back straight. You notice the back stays straight as you step back. Tailbone to floor. Head is up high. Okay. And back. And back. Good work. All right. That was great. Now we have a squat and torso twist. So you don't have to do deep squats. A little squat and reach over is perfect. Okay. If you want to get down a little deeper, that's fine too. Reach, you can reach up, come up on your toe there. It'll allow for increased range of movement. That's it, good, bringing the muscles into a full range. Great, reach. Because we do spend a lot of our day in a very crunched position. When you think about it, in a car, computer desk, sitting watching TV, anything, even sitting on the loo, <laughs> we're always in a crunched position where the trunk is in a C-curve and the legs are up in your chest. So it's nice to be able to get up. You don't have to be working out. Just stand up out of that chair. Do a minute of this. Try and bring your body back into a nice long lean position. And you made it. Good work. Okay, now we have our basketball jumps. So you can either add a hop or leave it at a reaching up. Okay, so we're gonna reach up, step back. Reach, step back. And you can actually stay, keep one foot on the floor here and pretend you're jumping up to shoot for a basket. Okay, you're not actually doing any impact. You're just using the elasticities in your calf muscle there, your lower leg, to get you up. But if you want to, you can actually jump it if you don't mind. Good. Reach up. Step it back. Reach. And step of the other leg to do. Good, because again, we have to provide that balance. Good, reach, step back. Come on, have fun with it. Work between jumping and just bouncing. High and low impact if you want. It's great calf work here. You can feel like a burn in the calf. Good, let's get one more. Well done. March it out. Let's do the other side. Good. All right. Now, so we are we get it right, reach up, that's it, step back, reach, step back, step back, good, and back. Have fun, it's a nice fun move, this one, I really like it. And again, you don't have to be jumping up, you can just reach up even. Reach, good, step and reach, and reach, great using those arms to balance the body as well that's great they do uh, need a little bit of coordination though good that's it arm circle oh heel digs next with their arm circles yes that's coming next so get your heels digging in have a little rest now if you're feeling tired at this stage of the work we'll be in 14 minutes in Okay, you can bend your knees a little bit more if you want to. And now we're going to circle the arms. Circle, circle, good. Halfway through, 
I'm going to switch my arm circles the other way. That's it. Good. Come on, you can do this. Great work. Let's go the other way now. We got about 20 seconds or so the opposite way. Ooh, the arms feel heavy. Good. Great mobility here for the shoulder. Down low if you're having problems. That's it. Good. Come on, you can do this. Next move now, unilateral again, one side. We're going to do a side step for one and a forward step for one, okay? Watch me do the move here in the break. Okay, side step forward, side step forward, okay? Other leg is the next move. All right. Okay, side, forward, side, forward. Good, and again, the arms are just mimicking the legs really here. Don't make it complicated. Now you're gonna really feel that standing leg. Try not to bend too much over to the side. Keep your spine straight and your torso upright. That's it, good. Out, front, out, front. Now this pace is too fast, so you just slow it down, okay? Don't worry if we get out of sync with each other. Just you do what you have to do for that 50 seconds or so. Good. Come on, you're just there. A few seconds to go. Okay, take a rest. Well done. Now we have to do that again. So the achy leg is gonna move. All right, shake it out there a little bit. Okay, side, front. Side and front, good. It's quite a stationary move here when it's rooted on the spot. So the next move we'll get off the spot. That's it, good. It's good, isn't it, to mix it up for your body. Keep going, come on. You're doing great. Woo. Get that balance, find that fixed point in front of you. Keep looking at it. 20 seconds left, I think, or less. Good work. Come on, keep moving. Feeling that leg, that stationary leg, working hard. And out to the side. Just there now, four seconds, and you're done. We're going to X the legs behind us this time now. So we're going to X for two. Sit a little into a little seat for me, okay? All right, let's go. X, X, tailbone down. That's it, one, and you can make that little seat deep if you want, or keep it very light. There you go. One, two, down. One, you can bring in those arms, get those triceps worked, down. One, two, down. Great, one, two. If the arms are confusing you, just leave them out. Just keep those big muscles in the lower half in motion. One, two, down, good. Now we have an alternating side step next with a chest press. So anytime you hear alternating, that means both legs are going to be working in that particular move. Okay, so side step, chest, push out those hands. I'm gonna take a little march here for a moment. Okay, one, two. Now get the chest going, come on. That's it, push, pull back. Now when you're pulling back, I want you to actually squeeze the muscles between your shoulder blades, okay? Don't just pull the arms back and not actually have any muscles doing some work for you. It's such a world of difference when you switch on the, the muscles that we're trying to target. So you might even be aware you're trying to target your back muscles here, but you are. So you're pushing away, pulling back. You're working your chest as you push away and your posture muscles, your trapezius and rhomboids as you pull back. Great, come on, keep going. We've got some high knees across the room with some upright row, okay. Take a rest, particularly for the arms. You know high knees, keeping that gap between your feet. Good, and some upright row. Let's get the legs first, give the arms a few more seconds. Good, now upright row. 
If you find this coordination is just way too much, just run the arms by your side or your arms might be just very fatigued from the last few moves. Good. And across the room we go. Over, over, over. Might get some upright rows in. Just get a few in before we finish with this move. Good. Up, up, up. Good. You keeping your sp spine nice and tall for me? That's it. Good work. Keep moving. We are just there. A few seconds to go. We want to kick our legs forward for two and kick back for two next. So two forward and two back. Okay, it's a very simple move. You can bring in some arms if you want to. Forward, you can keep the arms going forward if you want. Oh, sorry, back and back. Good, forward, forward. Yeah, I don't know, for me it, help, it, it seems to help if I have the arms going the same way as the legs. Coordination wise, that's it. I'm back and back, good. Back and back, forward, forward, kick and kick. Now you can bring the legs higher and feel the hamstrings stretching and pulling. Kick the legs back, squeeze out your glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, good. Two, squeeze, squeeze. Now I have some pendulums coming again. Working to the outside of the leg next, we're going to change up the arms. Good, good, and we're there. So pendulum again, but this time we're doing W arms, okay? March out, get a few steps in. Okay, pendulum, pendulum, great. Now W, W, can you use your abs so you don't lean too far to the side. Pull your belly button in. This is great, we're on move 22. Two to go after this one. Reach, reach, bring those elbows down towards your ribs. Good. Push, push, that's it. Pull down. Squeeze out, squeeze. You might have to slow this one down a little bit. Squeeze, good work. You're just there now, come on, you've about 10 seconds, it's not too long. Hang in there. Good, I've got a knee raise coming next with a pec deck. Now it's a pec deck with a difference. It's not our regular pec deck in and out. You're gonna go <laughs> out, in, and up and down, okay? Let's get the legs going first. Okay, so open wide for pec deck. Close, open, close, up and down. Open, close, up and down, that's it up and down up and down now if that's really confusing you with the legs moving just do a regular pec deck where you open and close you can get that up and down and you're going to really burn out those arms you can bring your knees up a little higher if you want to work harder watch your back don't lean back good the last couple of moves are going to burn out that upper half Lift, open, great, getting a bit of extra work for the chest and the arms there. Okay, so we have side leg lifts and we're going to swim the arms, okay? Side leg lifts and swim the arms. Right, let, let's uh, rest out the arms a little bit. So it's like our pendulum again. Ooh, that one crept in for the last move. Okay, let's swim the arms. Swim. Swim, good. Down low if your arms are fatigued. Work your way up. Good. Last move, you did really well. Very well today with your workout. Good, around we go. That's it, keep going, come on. And again, feel the muscles between your shoulder blades here, working hard. Last few seconds. You did great. Just there. Last one. Well done, Sue. That was brilliant. Okay. Now, that pendulum crept in there a couple of times today. I'm not sure how that happened. But anyway, each one we added in a different arm move, at least, to make it feel a little different. 
Okay, let's bring the heart rate down a little bit. Pace the room. <sighs> Big deep breaths for me in and out. And if you liked today's work, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. It would really help to push the channel out to more ladies like yourself. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe consider subscribing because I'm posting new workouts every Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Let's stretch across before I say goodbye to you. Good. And as always, make sure if, you're, if you are sitting a lot in the day, whether it's your job requires you to sit or, or for whatever reason, Try and get up, do a few of those moves that we did in today's workout. Do a few stretches like this, you'll do your spine the world of good. That's it, keep it healthy, keep those discs healthy. And also don't forget to cool down as well. So you know I have plenty of cool downs on the channel and I, I will link up my cool down playlist in the description box and it'll be below this video. Okay, you'll find it there. Great, and don't forget to hydrate as well, particularly as the temperatures are going up. Get that fluid into your body to keep your muscles hydrated and to allow you to recover. Thank you so much for joining me today. You did an absolutely wonderful job and I will see you back here in the next workout. See you soon.